am actually on a CD, y'all. How crazy is that? Ah! Hey guys, this is Sarah from All Manner of Inspiration, and today I am sharing with you my June favorites. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great on the other side of that screen. I know we're into July, but I wanted to share my June favorites with you. I actually videoed this um, segment about a week ago, and unfortunately my camera started acting up, and I lost all the footage. So I am reshooting this for you as quickly as I can, because I had some favorites this month that I just don't want to miss out on sharing with you. So the first one here is actually completely an unexpected favorite. It came up um, as a wonderful surprise. I am actually on a CD, y'all. How crazy is that? This is my first favorite, you guys. I never thought I would be saying this on YouTube or anywhere else, that I am actually on a musical cast recording, which I am so thrilled about. Um, just to give you a quick synopsis of how this came about, this is a recording of a musical called The Golden Apple that I did here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area last fall at a wonderful theater, Lyric Stage. This is actually a retelling musically of the Iliad and the Odyssey, so really interesting stuff. So I did this production locally with a lot of really wonderful performers. It is a very obscure piece and it is operatic in nature. It doesn't have any dialogue in it. It's like an opera, but it is considered a musical. And it was first done in New York on Broadway in the 1950s. They made this the first full length recording and it's a two disc set. Um, this was made by PS Classics. So in June, our wonderful producer of the theater graciously gave all of us in the cast a copy and I just got one in my hot little hands and I absolutely love it. And I have to tell you, it's pretty thrilling to look on the back of the CD and see my name in the cast list there. And I had a pretty small role. It was a featured role, but it was not a lead or even really supporting by any means. I played the figurehead of a ship, which sounds crazy. And I know it's really hard to describe, but there was a lot of, um, imagery used in the piece and at the end of the first act I went off as the figurehead of this large ship and then I also came in in the second act and reprised that role in kind of a fun little uh, comic moment. This is a beautiful book with the full um, uh, libretto in here um, and it's got all sorts of pictures from our production so I was looking through this and I was shocked and amazed and excited when I got to this page. And y'all, I'm in the CD cover. I, there was a great picture. This is the end of the first act. And there is me being a, a figurehead of a ship and the soldiers um, all coming off stage. And I had seen it and really loved the picture, but apparently they liked it enough to put it in the CD jacket. So that was amazing. I am not sharing this to brag or anything like that. I have been a musical theater lover for most of my life. I've been a professional musical theater performer for 15 plus years, almost 20 years now. And um, it has always been a dream of mine to be on a cast recording. And I never thought I would get that chance since I have not done a Broadway show, even though I have toured um, out of New York and done a lot of regional theater work. So this was a huge dream coming true and it was really special to my heart. So that's why I wanted to share it. I don't know if it's on Spotify or not, but you can definitely listen to it on iTunes. So if you want, go ahead and give a listen. And I just wanted to share that one of my dreams came true. So um, it's a beautiful piece. The orchestra is absolutely stunning in this. It is truly one of my favorite things about this recording. And the music is so interesting and intricate and lush. And um, it was just a joy to be a part of. So this um, surprise cast recording has just become the icing on the cake. Just wanted to share that. I got to create art with some wonderful people and some lovely and talented friends. So huge first favorite for me. Now I'm gonna dive into some of my more traditional favorites that you might be expecting. I've got a handful of favorites from Young Living because surprise, surprise, I love me some Young Living. I have started using the Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. I ordered it a couple of months ago on my Essential Rewards order. It smells just like the lavender essential oil, and I love it because there's a lot of other um, essential oil extracts in there, just some really good for you stuff. So I keep this by my bed and I use it all the time. 
And then I've got a handful of oils that I really loved. Um, this is called Sleepy Eyes. This is an essential oil blend. So there's a couple of different carrier oils in this blend and there's tons of essential oils in here. I can read it off to you really quickly. There's lavender, geranium, Roman chamomile, tangerine, bergamot, sacred frankincense, valerian, and rue oil. So this guy has so much wonderful stuff. It smells absolutely amazing. And I love it. I've been diffusing it by my bed before I go to sleep every night. So love this little guy. And then later on in the month, after I had been using Sleepy Eyes, I was thrilled to see the announcement from Young Living that they had developed two new oil blends. They announced that they had made Peace and Calming 2 and Valor 2. Well, I was absolutely thrilled because Peace and Calming is my favorite essential oil blend. And I immediately ordered Peace and Calming 2 and it came right to me on a quick order. And I first opened this and smelled this in the car. So I didn't have the original Peace and Calming next to me to compare. And I do have a bottle of that left. But I smelled it right away and I just think it smells exactly the same. I mean, there are some subtle differences, of course, if you compare them. And this is actually great because there's a lot more essential oils in this new blend. Let me look at my label really quickly. Um, you have got tangerine, orange, ylang ylang, patchouli, northern lights, black spruce, matricaria, vetiver, cistus, bergamot, cassia, and divana flower oil. This has become a huge favorite for me. I like it because with the new oil blends that are in there, for me, when I put it on my skin, it se the scent seems to linger a little bit longer and a little bit stronger, which I love, and I am diffusing it on my nightstand before I go to bed. So those are my Young Living favorites. Absolutely loved them. Okay, I'm just gonna share a couple of favorites in the health and fitness department. My first health and fitness favorite is, this is my big old container of Shakeology, y'all. It's a vegan chocolate and I love it. I know it's pricey, it's not for everybody, but we did budget it in because I am really serious about my weight loss journey and I feel like it is very helpful. I can use it as a complete meal replacement. There's 20 grams of protein in there and um, I really think it helps me with my sugar craving. So I'm using it at least for the next couple months. The way I make it is I put four ounces of unsweetened cashew milk in it, four ounces of filtered water, a cup of ice, and then I put one or two small pieces of banana, a dash of cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, um, the Shakeology, and then I like to put some extracts in there. So um, in this particular batch, I put a tiny amount of vanilla extract, and then I also put some peppermint extract. So the next time I make it, I think I'm going to try some peppermint uh, essential oil from Young Living. It's my uh, favorite meal of the day. It really does taste like a chocolate shake. I don't work for uh, Beachbody. I am not a coach or anything like that. I'm just sharing it because I love it. My next favorite is a stationary item, but it's related to health and fitness. I love Inkwell Press. They are famous for their planners. I have bought a couple of journals from them. I picked up this past month the Inkwell Press Fitness Tracker. This is a 12-week fitness journal. I love the way it's laid out. I need to do a whole video. Go ahead and give a thumbs up if you'd like to see how I um, organize this and how I use it. It's nice and small and compact. You can see my hand size there. Um, it's a wonderful, durable uh, cover there, and I love the teal. And inside my fitness journal that I am using, I am using stickers that I ordered on Etsy to track my 21-day fix. And um, they are from a wonderful Etsy shop called Ladybugs Designs. Chelsea runs that. Hello, Chelsea, if you're watching. I had a wonderful Etsy conversation with her when I ordered these. I shared with her that I was gonna be putting them on my favorites video. So I wanna show you these. This is one of the sheets I got. These are little flags with all of the names of the workout videos for the 21 Day Fix. So I put those in my uh, fitness planner. So love those, they're so well made. And then here's the sheet that made me order them in the first place. These are the stickers that help you track the 21 day fix. And you can see them up close. They are very small stickers and they have, oh, I have them upside down, I'm sorry about that. There you go, now you can see them. Um, she has the calorie brackets broken down on her um, website so that you can order the calorie bracket you're in. So this is the exact number of different colored uh, containers that I need. And then the mason jars are so cute for water. And then there's a little spot over here for teaspoons. So I take, you can see I've used a lot of these. I just peel one sticker off and put it on the day that I'm logging and tracking. And then I check off 
um, what I've eaten. And so it's great. I love these. It's just a lot quicker and easier way to log my food journals correctly. Again, they are Ladybug's designs, and I'll put the link down below so you can get some for yourself. Chelsea's great. All right, that is my health and fitness favorites because I'm loving the 21 day fix. I'm in the midst of my second round. Next, I've got some beauty favorites for you. Um, I had a couple beauty products that are natural, that are wonderful, that popped up this month and I've been using them like crazy. The first one is something that we all need even though we don't want to admit it. You know, every once in a while you get those unsightly blemishes on your face and you need to cover them up, but I wanted to find a natural alternative. I went to Target one day, completely a quick impulse buy. Didn't know if I would love it. This is by Alba Botanica. This is fast fix for a pimple. I hate that word. I prefer blemish. <laughs> you know, some people don't like to say the word moist. There's other words that I don't like to say, and pimple is one of them. Um, this is a fast fix. It's a tinted cream, and this is sodium uh, laurel sulfate uh, free, free of parabens, and fragrance free. This is fantastic. I've been using this all month. You can get it at Target for $4.99. It's amazing. And then I picked up a lipstick that I absolutely adore. This is Pacifica Natural Minerals Devotion Deeply Devoted Natural Lipstick. And unfortunately, I had the packaging to show you in the previous video that won't upload. So I'm sorry, I just have the lipstick to show you, but it's in a really pretty packaging. There, you can see it to get the glare there. It's a cute little tube, and I love this. It's got such natural, wonderful ingredients. And when I smell the lipstick, I smell the coconut oil, which is awesome. And then I actually, there we go gonna put some on to show you the color because I hate it when people show me their lipsticks in their videos and then they don't show me what it looks like. And I'm sure it looks different on every person, but I love it. It's got a nice um, plummy, mauve color to it. I'm sure it'd be good to go into fall, but this is one of my favorite colors. So I love this. So you can find Pacifica at a lot of uh, gourmet grocery stores and gourmet health food stores. And then my last favorite to share with you in my video is a book that I'm loving this month. I am actually on the launch team for this gorgeous book. This is by one of my favorite authors, Emily Freeman. This book is called Simply Tuesday, Small Moment Living in a Fast Moving World. This book is coming out in August, but uh, there's a handful of us that are grateful to be on the launch team. And so we got a copy this month and we're gonna be sharing it. Another disclaimer here, I would not be sharing this on YouTube if it wasn't one of my favorite reads. So know that I'm sharing this book with you, not just because I'm on the launch team, but because I love this author, I love the message, and her books are amazing. Her other book on being an artist in the world called A Million Little Ways is probably in my top five of any book I've ever read. Y'all, she's so good. This book is wonderful. It helps you to slow down, just kind of focus on the moment, not get caught up in the rush and the everyday craziness of life. I will be sharing a lot more uh, with this book and on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned. But I'm gonna put a link down below for you because it is on a pre-order sale right now at an amazing price. You can get it almost half off. I think it's under $8. So I would grab it while you could. It's so good. I'm reading it, I'm underlining it like crazy, and I really adore this book. Uh, this comes out in August, and I just wanted to share it on my YouTube favorites. So that is my June favorites. If you like this video, please give me a like on there. I would really appreciate it. And I would love for you to subscribe and join along on my journey. Um, I'm also doing 21 day fix vlogs for any of you who have been watching them, but I will continue to uh, share lots of other videos like this. So I hope you take care on the other side of that screen and you have a great day and you're enjoying your summer. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.